I worry when guys are like all Americans when they feel great and then they miss two shots, they just say, screw it. It doesn't matter if I miss two or if I miss 22. Right now, this team doesn't expect a lot of itself. Right now, this team just accepts whatever happens, happens. So we got a long way to go. Steph, why would the happy feet in there? Just slide and catch the ball. When we're doing the drill, everybody does it right. When we start playing, it's duh. Every shot you take in this drill, every shot you take in the shooting drill, every time we scrimmage, in your mind, every shot you take is a game winner. Were you guarding them when they took off down that way? Why? We want the guy to go that way. Tell CD what you said about Stewie. I did already. Oh, you did already? Yeah. What did she say? She's trying to do it her way. And when, it, when she tried to do it her way last year, she struggled all that time until she started to try to do it our way. She's a, like, enigma, but she's good. She does have to grow up. And just becoming MVP in the Final Four doesn't make you grow up. You know what I mean? Still got to grow up. I'm always trying to work on my guns. Ah! Trying to work on my upper body, so get my back strong and stuff. Nicola, you think I'm going to do it? Si. Good. Risotto stasera, qua. Si. Roasted chicken and Asiago cheese risotto. I love this coach. He does an awesome job. This is a great place, and we're lucky to have him. And you know why? We have to be really good friends. Because I'm the police chief. She's a... <laughs> <laughs> when Maya was here, there was a peace. There was a competitiveness at practice. There was just a way that it was going to be done. And Kelly had that same type of work right. ethic. I mean, you can't ever match Maya's, but she's still... So not only who's going to match the little things she does, but who's going to match that intensity level that everyone else is held to that standard. That, that pace that we're looking for. Right. Who is going to do that? Good for you, Harley. Good for you, Harley. That's it, Kia Stokes. Come back strong. Good pass. Good pass. Good pass. I remember when we recruited her, everybody's like, she's never going to play there. Nobody else was recruiting her. Now she's the best center in the country. It's unbelievable. Every team has issues that they're trying to fix. Our issues are no different than anybody else's. Those other teams are probably trying to make the Sweet 16 or Final Eight or, wow, I hope we get to the Final Four. We're trying to win a national championship, so we can't, we can't let those issues go because we're number one in the country. You don't deal well with frustration, do you? No. So you got a person that doesn't deal well with frustration who is genuinely frustrated that can't play. Perfect storm for you, huh? Well, the interesting thing was that um, I wasn't too thrilled with a lot of stuff that you were doing before you got hurt. There's going to be times when we don't have the opportunity to just stop the game and go, okay, time out, let's talk this over. There's going to be times when you guys have got to figure it out on your own, and there's got to be times when, in a huddle, somebody's got to step up and say, this is what we're going to do, damn it, and let's get it done. And we welcome you to Gamble Pavilion in stores for another edition of UConn Women's Basketball. Tonight, the top-ranked Huskies in an American Athletic Conference matchup. It doesn't matter who we're playing tonight. This is about how we're playing. This isn't about what the final score is going to be. It's more going to be about how we score. We have no control over who we play. But we have a lot of control over how we play. Understand? Let's go. Let's go. Together now. One, two, three. Together. 